for finery, we're talking about wedding dress bustles. This is a ball gown style wedding dress that I have altered and added a bustle to. And the purpose of the bustle is to get the long train up off the floor so that after the ceremony, the bride can move and talk and dance without having to worry about her train dragging behind her. So this is an example of an underbustle, and let me show you how I did it. So I have spread out the train of the wedding gown the way that the bride will wear it for photos and the ceremony. And most wedding gowns that have a train are manufactured with this loop in the back. The loop is really good for when you're hanging the dress up on the hanger before it's worn. And some brides like to just take this loop and loop it around their wrist to hold up their skirt for their reception. But a lot of brides ask about a bustle because a bustle is a really pretty way to bring up that skirt and make the dress walkable and danceable to be comfortable at the reception. This bride wanted a very simple bustle and she opted for the under bustle style, which just means that the fabric is pulled up from underneath into this sort of tuck and held in place with ribbon. So in a minute, I will show you how I did that. Okay, so I have pulled up the overskirt, exposing the lining, and you see that I've added these ribbons here on the inside. I have three sets of ribbons. This is what's called a three-point bustle. It just means that the skirt is pulled up in three different places. So when the bride is finished with the ceremony, she's gonna need help from one of her bridesmaids and they will tie up the ribbons. I'm just gonna tie them in a bow. For the real thing, she'll wanna tie them in a nice secure knot. But she'll just follow the seam line and match up the two sets of ribbons at all three points and tie them. Thing. Once I got the bustle finished, I realized that the top lining layer poked out of the bottom. So I just did another little bustle on the lining. This is an example of an over bustle with a little thread loop and a button. And all the bridesmaid will have to do is pull this thread loop up, loop it over the button. It'll never be seen, but it'll get that lining up off the floor as well. So let's take a look. Pull the skirt down and then we're just gonna kind of fluff everything into place so that it looks pretty. And whenever I have a final fitting with the bride, we always talk about the bustle, how to tie it up. Sometimes she brings her mom or her maid of honor with her and we talk through it just so that they know exactly how to do it the day of. And we've even shot videos sometimes showing exactly how the particular dress needs to be tied up because every dress is different every bustle is different as we finish up on bustles just one quick word regarding wedding etiquette make sure that the bride gets to have the big reveal of her wedding dress so once you've done an alteration like this of course you're going to want to share it and promote your craftsmanship but wait till after the wedding until you post anything on social media I'm filming this in September. This wedding is in October, but I'm gonna go ahead and wait until November to post any information that has this beautiful wedding dress on it.